Adrian, you haven't told us what happened to you this week. It's nothing I'm proud of. What happened, Adrian? I'm pulling a simple, armored, car heist on the Jersey Turnpike, right? It's a no-brainer. Right man for the right job. Can I tell my story? Fine. But can we get another round? This doesn't sound fast. I've got the truck run into a ditch in the woods. The woods? What's he doing in the freaking woods? Picnic. Camping. Fishing. Leaf collecting. Will you two shut up, and let me tell my story? Yes. Sorry. Go ahead. Squeeze me. Continue. Thank you. He's in a damn tree. Comes up behind me and kicks me so hard, you wouldn't believe it. Yes I would. For a little guy, he kicks like a mule. Then it's the usual stuff. I take to the sky. He shoots the web on my ankle and gets pulled along, then we punch the hell out of each other, he drops off into the bushes, makes the web slingshot catapult thing, which you fall for without fail, I suppose. And the next thing I know, he's heading at me, fist straight out and then, I'm on the ground. Well, it appears you got away. I got away, alright, just barely. Who's thirsty? You know I'm always thirsty, to be baby. I'm getting really hammered. Well, finish telling how you got hammered by him, first. You know what I hate most? About these super guys? The pain they inflict. No. I've been getting beat up since I was five. It's their jokes. <laughs> Ever think about giving Propecia a try, Balchi? They say it kills the libido, but does grow hair. And well, is the libido really working for ya? All that much anyway. Shut up you miserable little. Hear. The chit chat while they fight. I mean, who wants to talk when they fight? It's not a prom, it's a fight. Hitting. Kicking. No talking. I don't like talking. It's become a bit of an occupational hazard though, wouldn't you say? Well, I'm sick of it. And there he is. Jumping off the trees, hitting me all over and yapping like a terrier. A lot of people think I'm bald, cause this mask makes me look that way, so I kinda know how you feel. Except for one thing, I'm not. Ha 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 ha. Okay, that was cruel. Bald jokes are cheap shots, and I'm already winning. But come on. You are so, wait a e e bald. Man, you are so bald, you could lead the X-Men. You could be captain of the love boat, you can pose for Mr. Clean Bottles. You could be the Silver Surfer's stuntman. Somebody, stop me. Dude, this is brutal. Did you get close to winning at any moment in this nightmare? Hey, at least I didn't get busted like some people at this table. True, but I bet those handcuffs didn't hurt me nearly as much as those bald jokes did you. I think making those kind of personal insults in the heat of a battle is extremely lowbrow. This is a business. For him to make it personal like that isn't right. Oh come on. Everything is ultimately personal. I take a rainstorm personally. Do you think Clinton would be so vilified if people weren't taking his entire lifestyle personally weren't jealous of it? The guy got to be president and get jiggy with it all day long. And why do we resist Bush? Because he's an idiot? No. Because he was born with everything we all want. This country reeks a personal. Why do the tabloids, Rolling Stone, US and Cat Fancy Outsell Science Digest and the Wall Street Journal? Because they're personal. The USA should stand for uncovering secret atrocities. We feed on it. Don't get me started. Right. Let's try to get you finished, so we can hear the rest of Adrian's story. Touche. How did you make your escape, Adrian? Chickens. The fight sort of spread out towards a farm. I didn't even know there were farms in Jersey. I fly over this little farm, and some broad is feeding a chicken coop. So I tear through the gate, rip it right out of the ground, scream like hell, and her birds, go flying off in every direction. Of course he, has to stop and help her gather the filthy birds. Oh great! The vulture is casting aspersions at other birds, for being unsanitary eaten any dead rats lately but you're such a jerk so he starts making web chicken lassos and stuff 
and I haul ass, out of the, while he's playing Farmer Brown, off the Jersey Turnpike. It was pretty sweet, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Real sweet. Real smart. Real cool. How do you survive in this business? Can you imagine what, Captain America, would do to this guy? I can do this all day. I do the best I can. You spoiled little brat. Not everyone was born with a silver spoon in their mouth, and up there. Did I say, is lucky enough, to be born with? No, I think you left, that, out. Oh. Meant to say it. Good thinking. <laughs>